everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout and I'm going to take these photos of two of my grandkids with um, their grandpa. This is my daughter-in-law's dad and he's so good with them and they missed him so much during COVID because he takes care of his dad as well and they didn't want to take any chance of exposing um, great grandpa to the virus. He had had some health problems earlier in the year so they were missing him a ton. They got this new wagon. So grandpa came over and just spent a little bit of time with them and rolled the youngest two um, of my grandkids around the yard. So this is from my Chamel Best of Both Worlds kit. Uh, my stash curated one for September. And I don't usually show die uh, die cuts that I've done, but I did include three of them in with this particular kit. And I, um, I, so I'm, I just decided to video this and use this. This is a page, I believe it's a Paige Evans cut file. Uh, you can buy her, her pieces at the Silhouette store and also her uh, web, Etsy website, which is page by page. It's P-A-I-G-E by P-A-G-E. And this is a folded hearts one. So um, the hearts cut out and then some of them are completely cut out. So you fold them back to give some dimension to your page. Now I've done that before and I've actually like put a little bit of foam tape behind it. So they still stay up even when they're in the um, page protector, but I decided I didn't need to do that for this one. So the blue paper that I used there is an Amy Tangerine paper. Um, and you know what? I didn't write it down, but I will figure it out for you. Um, the diagonal stripe paper that I put behind is from AB Tangerine Picnic in the Park, and it's the bright line paper. And then that blue paper is from um, Amy Tangerine Picnic in the Park, and it's the all the colors paper. All right, then I'm using some other older t Amy Tangerine uh, product that here's the keeper three by four card is from Amy Tanger or he's the key yeah I'm sorry it says keeper on it I'm going to use that as part of my title um, that is from the um, picnic in the park collection and what I did is by the way I forgot to tell you this I did decide to cut that uh, cut file down a little bit because I thought it needed a border to it it felt like the hearts were just going to fall out of the cut file, so I added some basil um, yellow cardstock in the orange peel texture. I'm going to add my Memento Dewdrop ink in gray flannel. And then I have those little uh, Polaroids, and those are from an Amy Tangerine paper. It's the Stitched Collection, the Moments paper. And I have used that entire sheet, well, I haven't used all the sheet yet, I still have some left, but I'm using them to cut out um, really I'm using them as embellishments versus just using it as a, a piece of plain pattern well not plain pattern paper but just pattern paper that I would add to a layout so and that stitch collection is old I don't know how far that goes back but it's pretty old so I'm just kind of playing here um, I added I was going to do just three and then I decided it looked kind of funny at the top without a second one so I went back and added a second of the little Polaroids there. So I'm looking, trying to figure out what kind of alphabet to use. And I want to add the words, he's uh, above the keeper three by four card. Um, Cause he is a keeper. He's so good to the grandkids, to his grandkids. He, and they love him to pieces. Um, and he's also, uh, I'm also a big fan as well because he sends me photos when he's with the kids, which is awesome. Um, because then their life with grandpa gets documented instead of just things that I document when I'm with them or stuff that their mom and dad send me. So anyway, so I'm kind of playing with this Chamel, this alphabet, uh, chipboard alphabet from Chamel's Little by Little collection, but I decided there's so much white on it, you really don't see it. So I'm looking through the alphas I put in my Best of Both Worlds stash curated kit. And I find these letter stickers from Jelly Bean Soup. It's the Alpha Beans in Apple Green. And these are old, old, old. But they work. I like how they pop out the grass, you know, the color of the grass. 
they're a little bit harder to see when you're on when I'm on camera here but you can see them when um, when you actually hold the layout itself I'm just popping those little Polaroids off at a little bit of an angle and I did put foam tape behind one of them to give the layout some more dimension you obviously the hearts um, folded back are giving it some dimension is because I will pull those all up eventually before I'm done I, I, I shouldn't say that before I'm finished with the layout I don't remember if you see it or not because that would be kind of boring all right so now I have uh, these phrase stickers and those are from Ellie studio they're the life right now stickers and I just found one that said um, love this day because they do love a day with him all right so just adding those in I didn't have an S so I'm going to take an eight and I'll MacGyver that into an S it's actually really easy to do that I do that all the time actually all right I had to get an apostrophe in there as well so what I decided is I wanted to start that H a little bit farther out because otherwise there was way too much space at the end after the A so there's a he's he's also not reads he's a keeper and then I'm using a technique that Rachel Reynolds um, uses where she uses a brayer to make sure the letter stickers stick down to just run it across the stickers and they stay so much better she got that technique from somebody else and I don't know who it was but anyway I know Rachel uses it and so I stole it, that idea from her it's not original all right and I, I guess I am doing the pulling all those hearts up okay then I want something with more dimension and texture so I'm going to grab these in uh, Amy Tangerine puffy stickers and they're all hearts and I think these are from the shine collection it's the colors of the shine collection so I'm pretty sure that's where those came from originally I had not used I had used two when I when I pulled them to use with this kit so I was so happy to do that I'm scattering a coral one a yellow one and an aqua one just kind of like the colors that I'm using within those Polaroids kind of scattering them around and sticking with the heart theme I do want some enamel dots there and I find these doodle bug uh, sprinkles and tangerine to use with the um, with for the enamel dots now I'm also looking for another phrase sticker here because I decided that um, I, I didn't want just one that would have looked a little bit silly all right I'm just adding in the enamel dots three to each cluster here And here I'm letting some of them sit out and not attached. I like to put them on borders of things, but I didn't here. All right, everybody, there is the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I will be back with another layout again soon. Bye, everybody.